It's really fun. I like all the activities and merit badges and everything. The coolest camp ever. We have a lot of fun here. Hoping to come back next year. Uh, it's my third year. I really enjoy it. Um, it's like my home away from home. I grew up here as a kid, and I'm having a great time coming back as a staff member. Here I can just get away from it all and just have fun. They get to play with pointy things and fire, which is what every boy loves. Fantastic. Be prepared to experience what the real wilderness is like. It's a great experience. Don't miss it. I just can't get it out of my blood. There's probably no better place to come to get your son hooked on Boy Scouts. And here we can see our little Virginia Creeper sign that we put up. Well, it's a great program. It's very engaging, and I like how you can set up your own schedule. You choose what you want to take, you choose what you want to learn. And then you hold on to the rabbit. There was lots of activities. You certainly weren't bored. It's really nice because only a certain uh, period of time, an hour, we get uh, for each mirror batch, so we keep on switching off uh, class to class so it never gets boring. I like camping here because it helps me get merit badges, it helps me rank up. The fun factor is huge here. Where else does he get to shoot a gun, climb rocks, go snorkeling? Where does he get that experience? It's just a great place. This camp staff is just amazing. I would tell them to be ready for a challenge, you know, but a positive challenge, a learning challenge. I would tell them to be ready to come here and expect to not do your best necessarily all the time, but it's okay. It's all about learning. Some of the, the merit badges that we teach, like at the waterfront, there's rowing, swimming, life-saving. Right now I'm working on life-saving, I'm working on environmental science and pioneering, and I'm working on leather work, and I just finished that today. The swimming merit badge and first-time camper. This is a great cooking um, class and pioneering as well. Working on life-saving, we had to pretend that um, somebody was drowning and we had to go out and save them. So it's pretty exciting, but it's also pretty hard. I'm working on canoeing, small boat, uh, small boat sailing, uh, rifle, and fishing. You can do Indian lore, you can actually make, uh, do forging and metal work. I really like the scout craft activities. It was really fun. Rifle, because I love guns to shoot. I'm not, not yet. Do you know what I mean? Now I can drive my own sailboat, tie lots of knots, cook wherever I want in the wilderness, make my own shelter. This is the place to really get some achievements and, and uh, start building yourself in rank. You know, the merit badge structure is set up that they, they earn their requirements, they work on them throughout the week, and if they follow the instructor's rules and examples and, and directions, they should come out with a completed merit badge. You know, it's not necessarily expected, but it's pretty typical for that to happen. Make sure you bend that in the opposite direction of the previous piece. Yes, correct. My favorite memory of camp is easy because my son was up here and he got called out for the Order of the Year. I knew he was getting called out and so he was out by the fire and I was in the circle and I was kind of laughing and pointing at him and then all of a sudden the Indian came and called me out. It's a Scout News National Honor Society based on Native American history and you know it's for the service that Scouts have done in their units and their council and it's just a way to recognize them for the work they've done in the past and in the future. No! My favorite activity was probably the OA callouts. I thought it was really professional and cool looking and well done and I was really excited when I got inducted. One of my top memories from being a camper here as a Boy Scout was winning the Camp Cup. Uh, I think it's one of the better programs we have here. Not all camps have it. That's what we're racing for today. Camp Cup is an inter-troop competition, so all the troops are their own team. And so each day we have different events. So there's like physical events and mental events and uh, scout skill events. So there's like a knot tying relay, stuff like that. There's a climbing tower challenge, a shooting challenge a year. I was a camper. 
So it's, you get points based off of how well you perform, and then at the end of the week, the winner gets the Camp Cup, and it's really hyped up, and it's, it's probably the reason I wanted to become a staffer that year is because I had so much fun. I was part of the Cup competition. I was tying the knots. Um, our troop tied for first place. Boulder five times this week, and uh, I hope we're winning, gonna win the Camp Cup. So far, we got a third place and a sixth place today. Oh, I'll buy it. I'll buy it. We have multiple troops in our council that come up to Mac for a week and Shingobik for a week. It allows them to cover a lot of ground, and it gives them the opportunity to really get their skills honed in, in both senses and in both properties. Well, Mashkinoshu uh, is is a little rougher. You know, there's uh, there's a lot more work involved, especially when it comes to cooking and cleaning in the campsites, and it gives them a bigger sense of independence. Um, they really have to work on their own to get things done in, in the allotted schedule here at Mac. We cook our own food, which I like. It's a little harder, but you get to learn how to cook. They truly have to cook from scratch. They have a recipe. They have to follow the recipe, and they have to cook from bottom to top. Well, cooking, we all have to do everything. Everybody cooks, everybody cleans. There's a lot of support. We never let them go unattended when they cook because we have to eat whatever they cook. I like it better because it's better for Boy Scouts learning how to camp and learning how to cook. And both of them you're going to eventually need later in life. I think that parents should love to send their boys here. My boys, both of my boys uh, came up here and they still cook to this day. I mean, they're a catch for any woman because they love to cook. Uh, Shingobik is, is, uh, is good because of the dining hall program. We, we cook all our meals with the dining hall crew and a cook in the dining hall. So if you want to do merit badges and you have even, or you have a lot of first years, I think it's great because you can get, get up and get out and do those merit badges and you can spend more time out into the camp. Mac has, you have, since you have to cook in that, it's better because you're once you come here, your boys have all the skills and they can really do your weekend campouts um, very efficiently. But the differences aren't negatives; they're just kind of pros and cons. What what your troop is looking for, what your program is geared towards, and I like to think here at Displains Valley Council, we have an opportunity to provide both of those. I like to see the same counselors again because I think it's really cool to see them again every summer. They can become like friends. We're role models, these boys. You know, it may not be so the first few days, but by the end of the week, these boys are, you know, saying things we say, acting like we do. And you know, if we do it right, these boys are going to turn out to be real, real good men. The counselors are very understanding and helpful with the boys, and they teach them quite a bit. This is my 11th year on camp staff, uh, my 22nd year here at Camp Shingo. I keep coming back to this camp because of the traditions, the friendship, the family, and just to see the success of everyone out here. Steph here is awesome. Uh, they're my 40 closest friends in the world. There's nowhere I would rather be than here with these guys. And I just can't get enough of this place. I love it. I can't imagine spending a summer a different way. I don't know any other program that has the kind of character quality that staff has. Um, they're all role models. They all live up to the Scout Oath and Law. I think our, our primary purpose is just to set an example for the younger people that come to this camp. It's important for boys to have role models to look up to that are relatively their age. I mean, I have two sisters. I don't have older brothers. So I think scouting was important for me to see young men as role models. I think this camp is great. I like the older kid leadership, and I like the uh, how they're teaching kids uh, discipline and, and honor and respect and truthfulness. You know, that's why my son is here. I feel like I'm important in running a program that can make the difference in the life of a boy. I think it gives them an experience they're not going to get at home. Great positive role models. Um, it encourages them to continue coming when they see the staff that have been coming here for so many years, um, and we just we we really. I think it gives them something that they're not going to get in another program or get at home. We have a great time out here. It's like Disney World, but it's not. There's no rides anywhere, but it's still the same amount of fun. I said, how's your camp experience? He goes, yeah, if they had a bathtub, I would live here year round. So I think that's probably my best memory. It's definitely worth it. I mean, you have more opportunities here to do things than probably most other places. There's a lot of things you can do here to like, you know, help better your life and there's a lot of good skills to learn and it's very worthwhile. I tell them it was amazing. If you didn't do it, you would regret it for the rest of your life. There you go.
I really want to come back every year because it's my favorite place to be. And I hope I do it next year and the year after that and the year after that until I'm an old man. All about me are boys. They are makers of history, the builders of tomorrow. If I can have some part in guiding them up the trails of scouting. Onto the high road of noble character and constructive citizenship. I may prove to be the most important man in their lives. The most important man in my community. 100 years from now, it will not matter what my bank account was, the type of house I lived in, or the kind of car I drove. But the world may be a better place because I was important in the life of a boy.